What's going on guys? This is SP Architect. Today we are going to be modeling a decorative custom stair which is going to be used in interior designs and it's going to be a parametric so you will be able to change its thickness and height for using in other projects. But before we get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It's helped me out a lot and if you haven't already, I suggest you to subscribe because I'm going to make similar designs and tutorials like this often. So let's start. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change working units. To do that, we are just gonna go to options menu, project preferences and working units. Under the lens unit, change this millimeter to centimeter and click OK. Now we are in the centimeter. For this stair, of course, we are going to use a stair tool, which is located here. And we are going to model basic shape first. For instance, we start from here. Like this. And turn right. But this is going to be landing to here and change this flight and finish up to here and double click let's make this finishing lens equal each other I click the steer and I am going to click this rearrange I bring this closer Ctrl plus T for the settings and for the maximum going this input here 30 and the same distance 30 let's just change this number of risers to 18 and click OK let's click this corner and reduce number of stairs to make EQ We have a space here, so let's just bring this to here, and you will see this line. I press Ctrl plus T again, and it riser. Click this move node. Bring it here and let's bring it here. I pressed shift. Okay. For the width, we leave this one 100 because it's going to be a interior stairs. I go to F3. And click the steer, go to settings. Let's uncheck this finish. And let's just leave them to non override, concrete structural. Hit OK. Now let's make a slab and side pose for the steer. Let's call the slab for the structure select basic and for the material we can use this pine hit ok let's go to wall tool structure basic click here to here here and finish from here Let's change the thickness Go to 3D Ok, let's make some designing To make this design, I'm just going to go to Shell Tool Then, for the structure, 
click the basic one and construction method you just click this detailed method and first thing we are going to do is clicking a working plane a working face for example we can use this or this one but I prefer using this one I click this and the drawing which I will make is going to be perpendicular to this so let's start from this corner to here and go up to here and finish for the extrusion let's just click this corner which is 30 This is quite a thick, so let's reduce its thickness. At the beginning, I said you it's going to be a parametric. And let's make similar to other risers. I'll click this one and click this face. Here, click here. Go up here. And finish from here. Double click and make extrusion. Let's bring this down and change this move node. Let's continue. First, select the face and start modeling. For the landing, let's make just a straight slab. Sorry, not slab. A straight shell, I mean. Double click and for the extrusion, it's going to be 100. Okay, let's select all of the shell and change its material surface. Let's overwrite them and Put oak light. Let's just fix this. Okay. We will soften the corners for a smooth transmission. So we are just going to click the shells and click the corners and just go with the speed chamfer. And for the radius, let's just input here 25. Enter. 25 is a bit too much. Let's undo and click again. Maybe 15. Yeah, 15 is okay. Let's make this same. No, uh, let's make this 25. Before doing that, I just want to make a fixing. It's too much close. So we need to expand this spacing and it's going to be better for this designing. 60 centimeter. And let's just change the width. One. 110 After doing this we are going to fix this wall also And we extend this finishing
There we go. Now we'll just need a smooth transition. Now 25 is going to be better. And we are going to do this one by one. There we go. Now we can just delete this one and see our steer clearly. I'm just going to take a simple render for this one. Here is my shortcut rendering button. I'm just going to click this photo rendering projection. Okay guys, that's all it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to download this project file as well as my other tutorial files, you can just check out my Patreon page which is the link in the description. Until the next tutorial, take care of yourself.